fifth largest economy, and apparently the best we can do is Mary Carey, Caitlyn Jenner, and John Cox. This is not an auspicious leadership for such an important global power. What we need to do is begin thinking about California in terms of a real nation, in terms of a place where we have to think about how... So that's Michael Loeb's. I'm going to compare and contrast all the platforms of the top five candidates, right? Instead of just being a hater, we got to talk about things that we like. We got to build things. Instead of destroying everything, we got to be able to build to write. You can't just burn it all down. You're going to burn it all down to what? You're going to write us a new constitution? We're going to have some elections? Because if you don't have the three branches of government, motherfucker, and no goddamn elections and no fucking constitution and no bill of rights, fuck whatever the fuck it is you're doing. So, California, you're about to put Ben Shapiro and Dennis Prager and Dave Rubin and Hannity and Candace Owens and uh, Tucker Carlson into power. So, yeah, thanks a lot, goddamn California, because Larry Elder's about to take over California. You know, Hassan Piker, Jimmy Dore, where the fuck are you guys? Where the fuck are you guys? You got Larry Elder about to take over California. Meanwhile, Gavin Newsom, you know, what's, what's Gavin Newsom? This motherfucker, you know he had an otter as a pet when he was a kid growing up? I need a mongoose. There's a lot of fucking rattlesnakes around here. I need a goddamn mongoose. So it'd be nice to get ourselves... It'd be nice to get myself a nice goddamn mongoose, but Gavin Newsom had an otter as a pet. He had a fucking otter! I wasn't even allowed to have a goddamn puppy. Jesus Christ, but to have an otter? What a nice, pish, posh life, Gavin Newsom. How comfortably, how privileged. What a nice, charmed life. Hey, Gavin Newsom... Motherfuckers are shitty to me saying how much privilege I got. You're the motherfucker they're talking about. When they are mad at me, they're thinking of you, you fucking piece of shit. You otter pet owning motherfucker. You otter having as a pet motherfucker. What the Jesus fucking Christ. So we can force the vote without Jimmy Dore. Really, all we got to do is vote yes on the recall and then vote for somebody that's in favor of universal health care. And we have... Four people is in favor of universal health care. David Moore is for universal health care. Michael Loeb's, John Robert Drake, and Dan Kapilovitz is for universal health care. We can force the vote without Jimmy Dore. I don't know what the fuck that asshole's doing, just, what, telling jokes and getting drunk and being a dick, probably, right? So we can force the vote without Jimmy Dore. Make a vote talking about the California recall election. You live in California... Say anything. Say you love Galvin Newsom. Say you hate him. Say you can't wait for Larry. Say you, you, you love Kapilovitz. I don't give a shit. You're a green, help the green. If you're a Trotsky, help the Trotsky. What the fuck? You don't even participate in the electorism. And you say, see, the electoral politics don't work. You made sure it didn't fucking work. Jesus Christ. That's like saying the car didn't work. Why? Because you didn't put any fucking gas in it. See, the car never worked. It just didn't run. You never put the gas in, you didn't sit, you didn't turn, you didn't go. What the fuck are you talking about, the car? The car is fine, you fucking lazy fuck. Put a little bit of gasoline in the goddamn car. Jesus Christ. We can force the vote without Jimmy Dore. Just vote yes on the recall. Gavin Newsom, get the fuck out. Fuck you, you had your three years, you asshole. Nah, maybe you can come back in four years. So, yeah, the fact that it's even this fucking close, the fact that we're about to throw a Republican, we're about to give California to a Republican, that automatically says that Gavin Newsom is, you know, then, then Hannity wants to say it's the progressive agenda. It's the progressive agenda they're throwing out. Yeah, like Gavin Newsom's a big-time fucking progressive. Get the fuck out of here. He tried to do a couple things, but I don't see a bunch of progressive shit. Recall Gavin Newsom. Recall Gavin Newsom. Unless he puts universal health care up as a floor vote, in the next five days, you got the Democratic supermajority, super veto-proof supermajority. That's all he's got to do. Gavin Newsom just talk to the leadership of the House, talk to the leadership of the, you know, the Assembly and the Senate, and then just get a floor vote. That's all forced vote is. We're not asking for universal health care. We're just asking for a vote. Can we get a fucking vote around here? Can somebody just vote on goddamn health care? Just a fucking vote. The legislature already threw single-payer down. Schwarzenegger threw single-payer down a couple times. So you got three bills right there. You can just do what Otto Van Bismarck did. You know, just one-third from the employer, two-thirds from the employees. Start a big fucking health care fund. So yes on the Gavin recall, Newsom. Um, yes on the Newsom recall. 
Yeah, you know, throw Gavin Newsom to the fucking trash, into the, and onto the, you know, throw him to the curb, fuck that motherfucker. Now, my ranked choice ballot would be as follows. Number one, David Moore. Number two, Michael Lopes. Number three, John Robert Drake. Number four, Dan Kapilovitz. And number five, Angeline. So that's David Moore, the Trotsky, Michael Loeb's the California Nationalist, John Robert Drake, Mr. Working Class, Dan Kapilovitz, the Green Party Bro. Hey, bro, can you dig it, bro? Can you dig it, bro? I'm Green Party Bro. Hey, can you dig it? And then Angeline, that old-ass Hollywood billboard icon. And she's progressive. She's progressive. Like Gavin Newsom, she, though, however, she is a progressive, but she's, I got one criticism for Angeline. Angeline, Angeline, like Gavin Newsom, will not sign a single-payer health care system into existence either. So, number one, David Moore, the Trotsky, Michael Loeb's, the California Nationalist. Number three, John Robert Drake, the Mr. California Working Class, and Dan Kapilovitz, the Green Party bro, and the old-ass Hollywood billboard icon. Angeline, so here's Angeline's platform. She wants to send in the otters. Remember how Gavin Newsom had an otter as a pet? Well, she wants to send in the otter to save California's coastlines. Apparently, otters are good for the coast. So that's fucking smart. That's, you know, proactive. That's nature, environment. I like this. She wants to decriminalize sex work. She wants to de temporarily house the homeless in the park. She wants to establish a department of homelessness prevention. Her homelessness, I've talked about her homeless plan, the parks thing, just put the homeless in the parks. But she also wants a department of homelessness prevention. If you're about to go homeless, you go to the homelessness prevention department and they'll, you know, help you out. Establish a homeless fund to be funded by religious institutions, a homeless fund. So you're establishing a fund. you got a Department of Homelessness Prevention. You're going to get a lot done with an Angeline when it comes to, or an Angeline when it comes to homelessness. I guarantee you Angeline, uh, Angeline will do more about homelessness than Gavin Newsom will in the next goddamn year. She wants to abolish private prisons. She wants to establish private rehabs. All convicts with marijuana charges will be freed and released. Three strikes law for the police. She wants a policeman ball for the good cops. So she believes in, you know, positive reinforcement for the cops. For the wonderful police officers, peace officers, there shall be a policeman's ball. She's not for single-payer universal health care. So it seems like she's kind of a mixed private-public person, which actually I probably shouldn't criticize too much. She's not for single-payer universal health care. She says she's going to let insurance companies have a seat at the table, which is like, what? <laughs> what the? And she also seems to hate jury duty, which you should do your civic duty. Go to fucking jury duty. You should be paid a decent wage. But then she also hates daylight savings time. It's like, Get some real fucking problems, lady. Get some real fucking problems. Also, she wants a masquerade ball. She wants a UFO convention. She wants a policeman's ball. And she wants a bubble bath day. So that's Angeline. Angeline's got a shit ton of fucking badass shit. I love her homelessness plan. It's better than that Path Wraths rat trap. He's got the National Guard going around it. John Robert Drake, he's got an asshole landlord. Family's got problems. He sees through Path Rath's bullshit, right? He sees right through Kevin Path Rath's bath shaft. I see through your bath shaft, Kevin Path Rath. I see through your bath shaft. Bright, young ish, 20, 30, with a head full of dreams. If John Robert Drake, right, young working class, gets elected, don't forget about any of the rest of Don't forget. Don't get up there and sell us out. If John Robert Drake gets elected, don't forget about us. Make sure we get that, you know, housing infrastructure, mental health and drug rehabilitation and jobs, building incentive programs, unhoused individuals, proper skills to get back into the community, rent control, eviction moratoriums, UBI, better than Kapilovich, just wants basic income. So he wants universal basic income, but he doesn't, they're not very developed, okay? Um... David Moore, Michael Loeb, Universal, Kapilovich, Drake, they all believe in universal health care. I'm actually getting a little tired right now. Fuck. I was going to do all these. So I guess I'll just do Drake versus whatever and come right back. Gavin Newsom had an otter as a pet.